What actor is the most guilty of playing the same exact character every film? Seems to me Woody Allen is always the same person in every movie. Himself. Even when Woody Allen himself isn't cast in one of his own movie, there's still a Woody Allen character with his exact same mannerisms portrayed by another actor or actress. Exactly. Like in whatever works. He literally just substituted Larry David for himself. And Rainy Day in New York, where Timothy Chalamet plays Woody Allen. Which honestly was impressive, because there was a few moments where I forgot that it wasn't Woody Allen. Charlie Sheen could only play characters named Charlie or he wouldn't respond on set when called upon. He basically plays a role of Charlie Sheen, the drunken son of an actor. He also played a more sober and quiet down version of himself into and a half men. <laughs> Billy Eichner is always gonna be Billy Eichner. Oh. I have a medical condition alright. It's called caring too much. And it's incurable. Also I have eczema. <laughs> I'm fully convinced that every character Jason Mansaukas plays exists in the same universe. He makes it work though, and I love it. The crazy guy. He nails it perfectly in Brooklyn 99 and Big Mouth. And as Rafi in the league. It's the first role I saw him in and it really set the bar of craziness. I love it. And Eric in the good place. And Dennis Feenstein in Parks and Rec. Kevin Hart. He is a guy who works best with a co-star to provide the opposite side of him. Dwayne The Rock. That pairing works quite well for that reason. TBH. BC their movies have a little heart and a big Johnson. I love watching The Dude. But Jeff Goldblum is Jeff Goldblum in every role I've ever seen him in. From Jurassic Park to apartment hunting commercials. He was asked in a recent interview about this, about always playing Jeff Goldblum. And whether that bothered him as an actor. He said, no, and every year I get better and better at it. He's a genius. <laughs> Catherine Heagle. Frazzled, neurotic, hot girl who has life thrown at her in a way that causes her to take a step back and calm the hell down. Does anyone even cast her anymore? She's in suits and her character is completely different emo. <laughs> Tim Allen is basically just playing himself in everything. Only role that's a little different is Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear is Tim Allen coked out. Miss Nesbitt was Tim's greatest role. Change my mind. I'm Miss Us Nesbitt. Sucks down Darjeeling. You know what you're getting with a Jason Statham film. He will beat people up. He will crash cars. He will do an unconvincing American accent. The Guardian. 2015. Maybe it was so unconvincing that I totally missed it. But when has he even attempted an American accent? Yeah. I didn't realize he was supposed to sound American. Wait. He was supposed to be American? <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez has never been anything other than an angsty tomboy. Michelle Rodriguez. Playing the part of. Hashtag top. Hey. Sometimes she plays. Aviators. I like her own as cute off fingerless gloves. Featuring fishtail braid hair. <laughs> Years ago. I said Chuck Norris was the absolute worst. He could have the exact same facial expression if you told him his wife died or he won the presidential election. The man cannot emote to save his life. I was reading an article about Jessica Simpson, who got sent to the Chuck Norris acting school to improve her skills, and it didn't take long for Norris to spot the problem. He told me I move my eyebrows too much. Simpson said, yeah, and I had to do all of my lines with my eyebrows taped. Simpson explained that Norris didn't do the taping himself. His person did it. Apostrophe. People pay Chuck Norris for acting lessons. That's like paying a horse for calculus tutoring. First day of Chuck Norris school somebody always raises their hand and asks the question everybody's thinking. Why should we learn acting from you? Chuck Norris? You stink. After caving their chest in with a roundhouse kick and popping his old man hip back into place, he chuckles and says, well, you know how those who can't do, teach. Just look at how much I can't do. Then they watch every episode of Walker, Texas Ranger to convince them. Watch every episode of Walker, Texas Ranger and anyone that didn't already have their chest caved in and die. Wish they had. Danny Trejo and I wouldn't have it any other way. His role in Brooklyn 99 as Rosa's father was great though. He surprised me in a really good way. When I first saw Danny Trejo as her father I thought of course. Who else could it have been? 
but he wasn't just 100% scary badass, and it was appreciated. Especially considering the subject matter of that episode. Steven Seagal, if you can really call him an actor. 9 to Steven Seagal, hey, I'm yours a zero. I heard you were running your mouth about me. Think you're a tough guy. Huh, who up? Big tough guy here in front of your internet buddies. Is that it? Huh, let me tell you something. You're just a big pussy. You're someone ape tough guy who's actually a little bitch. So why don't you put on your little dress and sing us a song? You know what? Let me help you hit those high notes. Breaks him yours a zero's wrist 2020 Steven Seagal. From his living room easy chair. Mumble. Mumble. Wheeze. Him yours a zero. Mumble. Tough guy? In an entirely different place. Probably Romania. A slimmer, younger stunt double with his back turned to the camera breaks him yours a zero's wrist. Totally read this in the low whispery seagull voice lol. I'm gonna take you to the bank. Senator Trent, to the blood bank. <coughs> Rob Schneider is a stapler. And he's out to prove that being a stapler is harder than it looks. The good news is you've got the healthiest colon I've ever seen. The bad news is you're a stapler. Coming this summer to an office supply store near you. <coughs> Kermit the Frog. Forever typecast despite so much range. TBF. Kermit does his best work backstage trying to put on a show. <coughs> Jason Statham. Literally the same character with a variable accent. His caricature-like performance of his own acting style in the film Spy is quite good. Actually think he plays that role in that film really well. Edit. Spelling. I watched the woman I love get tossed from a plane and hit by another plane mid-air. I drove a car off a freeway on top of a train while on fire. Not the car. I was on fire. During the threat of an assassination attempt I appeared. Convincingly. In front of Congress as Barack Obama. You really think you're ready for the field? I once used defibrillators on myself. I pulled shards of glass out my fucking eye. I jumped from a high rise building using only a raincoat as a parachute and broke both legs upon landing. And I still had to pretend I was in a fucking suck do Salil show. I've swallowed enough microchips and shit them back out again to make a computer. The sum has been ripped off completely and reattached with this fucking arm. I look forward to reading the BuzzFeed article. Top 10 actors who always play the same role. Universe Brain. Op is a writer who needs content for their article. John Wayne. When he was cast as Genghis Khan, the way the screenplay read, it is a cowboy picture and that is how I'm going to play Genghis Khan. I see him as a gunfighter. Or translated, I didn't know how to play a character that wasn't a cowboy. So I played him as a cowboy. To be fair he didn't always play a cowboy. He played a military man a few times. And he played a cop twice in the 70s. Brannigan and MCQ. Westerns were falling out of favor. And his agent wanted him to move into other things. He had been offered Dirty Harry. And had turned down. But after its success he decided to give police dramas a try. More recently, Giancarlo Esposito is esteemed intelligent villain who's going to fuck shit up. Not that I don't love him for it. Bonus points if the character is a frolatino, even though he himself is African American and Italian. Eater, never want a popular post again. The amount of people who lack reading comprehension on this site is troubling. I have been loving him in The Mandalorian. He's just out there, flouncing around the galaxy in his cape and menacing everyone in the vicinity like the Snape of Imperial Hogwarts. My four daughters watch this, and obviously the world is like, it's the Baby Yoda show. And I'm never jealous, or have any problem with that. But I have to say, two of my daughters texted me, and two of them, called, me, Papa. Please don't hurt that baby. Don't hurt that baby. And I said, I will squash that little big id bastard. Giancarlo Esposito. That is such an awesome line. I love him, but Dwayne Johnson is literally the same person in every movie. That's what I liked about the Jumanji films. The actors were typecast in their particular roles, but their personalities were completely out of character. Dwayne Johnson acting like a socially awkward, wheezing dork was amazing. This and Jack Black channeling a teen girl was hilarious. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Whoever came up with the idea of casting Jack Black as a teenage girl is an absolute genius. Probably Jack Black. The Rock is literally just himself with different names every movie. Salman Khan. 
I have a Kawalka with this name and now I wonder if he is really my Kawalka or just the actor learning how to play a tech role because we never see him outside of work. Going through this list I can't believe anyone hasn't said Jess Eisenberg. I've literally never seen him be anyone but himself. Is that the guy who kinda looks like Michael Cera? Serious Michael Cera. Michael Serious. Man. How's your neck from carrying that massive brain of your around all day? Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn. Yes. I know that's too. Owen Wilson has literally played both humans and a car. You can't be more diverse than that. But the car acts like Owen Wilson, so that negates the diversity. Legitimate question. Did Lightning McQueen ever say wow? Godzilla. Sure. Spitting fire and plasma is cool. But I want to see the soft side. The giant monster behind the screaming slash roaring. And the Tokyo destruction. Maybe it's time for a new start. You know. Like a film where Godzilla is the sidekick. Or the vice mayor. Jocasta cameraman or the librarian with a heart. I think we are ready. Mark Wahlberg. Say hi to your mother for me. Alright. I can hear this comment. So you're a donkey. Huh. What's that all about? Say hi to your mother for me. 8. Michael Sarah Seth Rogen. This is the end is Michael Sarah's funniest performance. Does this smell like coke to you? Has anybody seen my fucking cell phone? Oh god this is so embarrassing. My cell phone was in my pocket. Esteemed character actress and fugitive from the law. Margot Martindale. Look me up when you get to heaven. I won't be there, but my movies will. If you are new to Tattletale TV, please subscribe. We have new videos every day. Stay tuned for more coming up next.